Why, hello there. Welcome back to my Let's Play, guys. My name is Mods517, and I'm here to play some Minecraft. Like, like you guys already knew that, but I felt the need to say it because I felt like it. Alright, so last episode, I suggested that I was going to do a grave. Hey, doggy, I wish I had a bone for you. Uh, I wanted to do a graveyard, and I actually started to work on it. I got most of my psyllium er, laid out. Not laid, laid out. And uh, you can see I have this cobblestone outline around. The reason for that being is that when I tried to place a bunch of dirt, because I only had like maybe 20 mycelium blocks, and this is well over 20, I had to place dirt so the mycelium could like take over the dirt and turn it into a mycelium block. But if I didn't have like it separated from the grass, then it could try changing to grass too. So I separated that. But I actually made a measurement wrong. This fence post needs to be here. And so I need to actually fill in this layer right here with mycelium, which I plan to do. And I need to fill in right here also. So not too much work. I should have it done relatively quick, but I just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, before I get started with that, I want to enchant a new sword. I do believe I was level 21 when you guys last saw. And I decided to go to my mob farm and I grinded out to level 30. And I really want to enchant a new sword. I just, I feel like I deserve something and swords are something that I... I like enchanting, and like I already have three pickaxes, my shovel and axe will be fine like for a while, and I just want a new sword, because I thought this sword was super cool, and it is, don't get me wrong, I, I like it, looting, knockback, smite, it, it's a decent sword, but I really want to get something with sharpness on it, or like, if I could get a fire aspect looting sword, that would be so ideal for farming with, because I could just kill, you know, like, it would ignite whatever animal I'm killing and cook the food, and then if I have looting, then I get more of it. But I'll take pretty much whatever I can get, as long as it's not Bane of Arthropods, I hate that. Alright, level 30, go. Sharpness 4, knockback 2, fire aspect 2. Sweet, that is awesome. That is exactly what I wanted. Knockback is good against creepers, sharpness overall is just better damage, and fire aspect will just light him on fire. Now the only thing that kind of makes me sad is that I got fire aspect on this, that pretty much fire aspect makes you less lazy in the sense of when you kill an animal it cooks it for you. And uh, I, I, if I can get a fire aspect and looting, that would be amazing. But pretty much what I'm saying is, this I can use to kill all the animals and just cook the food. And then I don't have to worry about cooking it. And then this, I can get more meat since I have looting on it. So it's kind of like, which one? But obviously I'm going to go with the looting because I don't I don't need to be lazy. I can just do that and uh, you know, you know, kill them with that and get more food for it. And I could have sworn that I breeded these guys and bre like I breed the pigs and the uh, cows and I had a chicken in here did they escape I feel as if they escaped which is not good at all so I'm gonna test this real quick I'm gonna open this okay no 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 I didn't I didn't mean to let them out I just wanted to come on come back in come back in I'm gonna breed these guys and then if the baby turns out to be gone I'm probably gonna have to actually put a door here instead of a uh instead of a fence gate I, I wanted a fence gate because it just it makes it a little bit open but they're still you know, a barrier, like it's still dictating where they're allowed to go. And, uh, yeah. Apparently I'm not allowed to do that. Alrighty. So, now I need to actually get started on the graveyard because it shouldn't take me too long. All uh, the names you guys suggested were very good. A lot of you guys suggested some funny names. A lot of you guys suggested just some bizarre out of nowhere names, which I'm assuming was just some of the names you guys that you guys wanted me to put you in your world, or put your names in my world. And then, uh, and then I had a suggestion to do names from The Walking Dead, which I thought was brilliant, but the only thing is, I don't want to do that because I do not want to spoil, I do not want to spoil who died in the show for anyone who may not have watched it, or who hasn't watched it, man, I don't know what's up with the way I'm talking today, it's just very weird, uh, yeah, so I don't want to spoil it for anyone, so that's kind of why, uh, you know, I'm not gonna go in that direction, I would love to, because this sort of, this sort of town or whatever you want to call it is themed towards The Walking Dead, so I think it'd be good. But again, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone because I would like to be considerate towards those who may not have seen it. And I guess I'm mainly just going to stick with funny names like Hugh G. Rection, uh, Seymour Butts or Seymour Asses, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I had a suggestion for Smitty Werben Wagerman Jensen or however you pronounce it. And I thought that was a good name. I actually, on my old world, I had a graveyard on my old world. I actually put that name. I was very surprised that that slipped my mind. But thank you, sir, who commented saying that. Because I'm definitely going to put that name as one of the headstones. But I don't know if I'm going to actually name all the headstones this episode. Because I don't feel like sitting down and typing all that while recording. I'll just do it off camera. And then I'll just surprise you guys next episode. Showing you guys what names I went with. Alright, now this is the only tricky part. Is that I actually have to place these 
and pretty much the grass and the mycelium are about to have a war. They're about to see who can take it over, but it's not too bad because pretty much, say if a grass block gets to, you know, it takes over one of the blocks that want to be mycelium, then I can, like, like that right there, I can just use my silk touch axe and just take it away. And then the beauty of this is right in the center here, since this is all surrounded by mycelium, if I deleted, say, a couple blocks in here, I could take those and just get mycelium blocks and place dirt, and the dirt's definitely going to turn into a mycelium since it's surrounded by it. So I can kind of just farm that stuff instead of having to go all the way to a mushroom biome. So that kind of, that's kind of very cool. Ooh, the only thing is right here, like this, this row right here needs to be grass. So that's what I mean. It's like on one side, on that side over there, I don't want it to become grass. And then on this side, I don't want it to be mycelium. It's kind of a pain when it comes to making this stuff. Like this row right here, yep, because of those grass blocks under the bushes. Ah, it's quite the tedious war. I could have done it off camera, but I did not. Stop turning to that. Oh, wait, no, you need to turn to that. Oh, God. I was mistaken. I apologize. I'm sorry. Get rid of that there. That there. See, the beauty of a silk touch axe. It helps you when you want to do stuff. And the main reason I'm using this mycelium is because it gives a, a very... I'm trying to describe the way it is. Oh, no, I don't want right here to be mycelium. Right here needs to be, uh, needs to be grass. Pretty much, I had this opened up more the way the uh, fence is, but I wanted to make it symmetrical with this fence, like the actual measurements of this, because I actually want to start working on somewhat of a road to the front, because I said that I didn't want to make a huge, huge amount of stuff out here, but I at least want to make a cool looking entranceway. So if the fence is here, and then I have the other fence lined up over here, so it's equal, I can have a seven wide road, and I can put like something in the center, like I said I wanted to. Haven't really figured out what I want to do yet, but. You know, working on it, I kind of have a base idea in mind. Um, okay, right here doesn't need to be grass blocks. Right here needs to be mycelium. See what I mean, though? Bouncing around like crazy with this stuff, it's quite... Eh, it's not really difficult, it's just, like I said, it's tedious. You, you don't know, like, trying to remember which spot you want to be mycelium and then which spot you want grass. It's just, it's derpy. I don't even know. And if you guys are wondering if I sound any different, I'm acting quite, like, different at all. I'm actually quite sick right now. That's why a video wasn't out yesterday. I'm trying to do my best here, but I actually got sick, and I don't even know how I got sick, because it's, it's like, spring, going to be summer soon, or whatever, and, you know, I don't know. I don't know how I got sick. It's ridiculous. I'm either, or I'm actually pretty upset with it, because I actually want to go out, want to go outside, be active, be fit, all that good stuff. But, you know, I'll pull through because I don't like going days without doing videos, so I apologize for those of you that, you know, were looking forward to a video and I didn't upload one. I'm sorry. Trust me. I feel worse than you guys do. It hurts me more than it hurts you because, you know, it makes me feel like, man, you need to do a video. But I was all, like, in bed last night, or not last night, yesterday, just eating soup, eating soup, and then watching How I Met Your Mother. It was great. Alright, so now we have a whole thing of mycelium down. It looks all good. The only bad thing is, it looks a little too perfect. It looks like, ah, why is there, you know, why is there just this perfectly, like, I guess, like, trimmed edge where it's just mycelium and then grass. So I need to add some more stuff around here. I think once I add the fence around, and then once this has a huge roadway and it's only going to be a little bit of grass around it, it won't look as bad. I just really wanted to give it a, uh, a more, like... I guess grimy look because it's a graveyard it's not like like a graveyard is supposed to be all dead and barren and all that stuff which this is supposed to look like and then over here is like all full of life and beautiful so it's kind of like you know j just use your imagination that that's how it's gonna be all right so one two so that's four right there four right there so boom we have our entrance we need to actually do something else because the way i have it planned out in this graveyard is there's gonna be eight plots only eight plots because like I said the the whole town right here is a small thing this is more the personal graveyard for the people that live in this area any houses that are out here get your own graveyard this is for uh, this is for us so we have that Oh, I had a suggestion also I know I'm bouncing around with topics so guys bear with me I had a suggestion to use nether brick fences I don't have any nether brick at the moment I could smell some nether rack but I definitely need to go into the nether if I want to get more for what I need and I don't know how it'll it'll look. Right now I'm just going to use fences for the time being. But I may get some nether brick and try it and see how it looks. I don't know if it's going to match everything. But, you know, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. I'm, I'm really wanting to try it. So, I think that'll be something cool to do. Okay, now we can add our headstones in or tombstones, whatever they're called. 
So four like that, where they're all one block away from pretty much everything. And then we'll have two blocks right here for each of the graves. I really want to do something cool for Kajiro's grave. He's the only sort of significant character or whatever in this uh, in this Let's Play series. So if I wanted to make some sort of shrine or something like that in addition to this graveyard, he would probably be the only person I'd put in it. But for the time being, he's just going to go in a... In the current grave, I'll, I'll just pick one of these graves and I'll just put him in there for the time being. And if I have to, I'll move him. Oh, the only thing is I don't feel like going to bed. I don't want to. I want to actually light up this place and be able to build at night. That's the point of living in a safe area. Technically, I'm on the outside area, like I'm outside the walls. But I definitely want to be able to be safe out here. Because that, that's how it's supposed to be. You know, I'm, I'm fighting the... Oh, is that a zombie? How did you spawn around here? Time to test my new sword. Are you going to die in one hit? Can you reach me? Oh, you can reach me. Oh, well, it only took a little bit to kill him, so... That's a good... That is a good sword. I like it. I That's or that's part of the reason I'm actually out here right now, is I really want to test my sword out. So if anything comes at me, they can fight me. Alright, so I have two blocks away, and then boom, right here will be the next set of, uh, next set of plots. And one, two... One, two... One, two... One, two. One, two. There we go. Boom. And then we just have a little bit of room here. So when you walk in, because you don't want to walk in and just have, you know, a thing right here. And then it's kind of cramped on the sides to walk around. But you know what? That's how it's going to be. This is how, this is how our graveyard's going to look. The only thing is, I need to I need to add something in. I want to do something with gravel, but I don't really know what I could do unless I do a... I wanted to do, like, a grave that looked like it was kind of... Not, not interrupted. What am I saying? Uh, like looks like, or actually, just it gives it a different, a different look to it. I guess if I, if I do that, I don't know. It just, it looks like someone recently dug it up because like the the brown soul sand or whatever looks like it's been there for a while. And, oh, give me flint. One's supposed to give me flint. Oh, uh, the gravel just looks like it, it was like recently planted, I guess, or like recently buried, and then this is all like from after a while. I don't know. Use your imagination. That's that's how when you play the game of Minecraft. He gets to use the imagination. Alright, so we'll do that. And then this will be Kajiro's... This will be Kajiro's plot. What was this thing again? It was Kajiro, a true hero. I think that's what it was. He will be the only one I put a sign on for now. And then next episode, I'll actually have all the signs put out. And I'll kind of surprise you guys with the names. Because I know a couple names I didn't say. And then you guys have a... Uh, and then you guys had some suggestions, so I'll like put in a couple of the suggestions for you guys to see. You guys will be like, oh yeah, he went with my name. Or something like that, so, you know, that'll be for you guys. Alright, so, man, I do not want to put this sign. I feel like I'm going to get flanked when I'm placing the sign. Alright. I don't, I don't know if I just put Kajiro. I think I'm going to put here. Lies. Is that how you spell lies? Oh man. Oh man, my my spelling may be off, guys. I apologize. It's been a long day. Don't judge me. Here lies Kajiro. Oh, this is not my day. See, this is why we do it off camera. A true hero. And we actually have to use quotations just to make it look all fancy. Quotations? Where are you? You're right there. We'll actually do two, and then we'll put the cursor in the middle a true hero now we gotta put a couple dots just to be dramatic there we go a true hero and then we'll just uh have an idea this will be for uh when kajiro flicks off everyone that uh ever ever put him down wait how do i make this face again hold on guys i'm trying to I'm trying to make a face. That is not how you do it. Okay, um, I think it's like this. Like that. Then. Then, what is it? Minus sign, that. Minus sign, that. And then, uh, that. There we go. So pretty much, Kajiro's flicking off the worlds since they killed him. There we go. I really hope I spelled lies right. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've actually had to use signs in this game. All right, put that there, and then boom, we have our plots for the time being. The only thing I need to change is I need to actually 
put a couple cobblestone ones because that just adds a little bit of a, a different look in a way. But look at this, it's all like kind of dim lighting. You got this just, it's good. It's, it's a nice graveyard. That's the only thing, these oak, these oak, uh, what's it called? The oak, uh, I can't even think, oak fence posts are quite a bright color in this area. All right, and then I'll put one right here, right with the uh, the gravel one. Bam, there we go. There we go. Can we actually, what if we put some gravel here? Can we just put some gravel like this is the entrance? Whoa, 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 stranger danger. Jeez, think you can flank me? Yeah, how do you like that? What, is this going to be a double kill? Dude, look at that. Amazing sword. I'm gonna be like I'm gonna cry when this thing breaks. When this thing breaks, I'll have to bury it. Like, right before it breaks. Awesome. Alright, so we just got a little bit of a little bit of something here. I I do like gravel for pathways. I just think it looks good. At least with the new texture, it looks awesome to me. So that could be something. Well, there we go. Graveyard for the most part is finished in a sense. I definitely need to add more uh more signs in for the names. Well, like I said, I want to do that off camera just to add a little uh just something fun, just to kind of show you guys what one names I decided to go with, just because I have a couple other ones in mind. I'm going to run around. I'm going to fight some stuff. Kill this guy. See, that's the only thing. I think Smite, is Smite good? I think Smite is good against zombies and skeletons, or it's one or the other. It's either good mainly on zombies, or it's good on skeletons, or it's good on both. I want to say it was both, because I looked up on the, uh, the wiki. Knockback. How do you like that, fool? It'd be cool if you lit creepers on fire with a blue pin still. Like, it wouldn't be cool for me, but it'd be cool in the sense of that, like, you know, they're like a fuse, and you're pretty much igniting it. I don't know. I just think that's cool. Oh, I need to make more torches. Completely unaware of that. Yeah, this is what I mean, though. This area is not safe. There's freaking mobs everywhere. I need to light this place up a lot more. And you would think it'd be lit up enough with all these torches, but apparently not. Alright, I'm going to go sleep, and then I'm actually going to get started on another thing, because I actually have some time to start working on it. Someone asked when I was going to start transporting villagers, and I want to start doing that now. I'm not actually going to transport them just yet, but I can at least get started placing the, uh, like, setting up the tracks for the villagers to come. And someone also asked, hey, make sure you can put villagers in the minecarts. You can. All you got to do is just kind of place it next to them and make sure you push them into it, and they will be able to, uh, they'll sit in the minecart, and then you just got to push them. And someone said to use a, uh, what is it? It is a, did I actually make one? No, I didn't make one, but it's a minecart with a furnace in it. Which are, uh, which I think I may do because then you don't have to push them. You just get all the villagers in the, uh, in the minecarts at one time. And then once they're all in it, you just place it behind them. And then you push them all in one trip. I think it makes it much safer than, uh, you know, then trying to push one at a time and having it be like night time and uh, it just, it would just get bad. No, diamond! I rotated it while trying to get into my chest. Alright, I need, uh, whoops, I need 40, 40 coal. Oh, I didn't even take the coal. And I just rotated the diamond again. Wow. Like I said, guys, very off today. I hope you guys will bear with me and understand my derpiness. And sweet. Almost three stacks out of all that. So I can actually place these back, have some torches for later on. Now I have a full stack with me. I also have an egg and I have gunpowder. I don't know how I, those got in there. Chest, gunpowder. Yeah, I'll throw the egg in there. Whatever. I probably have some in there anyways. Alright, I know I made some tracks beforehand to be prepared. Yes, I did. And since I'm going to be doing the method with the one, uh, with the, uh, what's it called? Using the, I can't even think, using the uh, furnace minecart. I don't have to use powered rails. So that's another reason I don't have to waste a bunch of supplies. I made some before I read that comment, but now I can just use those for a later occasion. Now what do I need? I need dirt because I have to go over, uh, I think like an ocean or a pond or a lake, what, whatever body of water it is, it's, it's a pretty significant one. All right, so in here, oh, I do not have a lot of dirt actually. This isn't, this is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Alright. Well, like I said, I'm starting on it, so I can at least get started on it, and if it turns out I run out of stuff, then oh well. I really need to make a map, too. I keep having to take this so I know where I'm going. I need to learn my world. Alright, so I have to go in this direction, because the nearest village is down there. There's actually one, if you look on the top right of my map, that little gray speck, that's another village up there. Where I could actually transport them, but that's across another thing of water. Alright, so I'm actually going to run all the way to the village... And I'm going to start from there, because I think it's much easier if I can at least kind of assess the terrain while I'm running through it. 
And I don't think this should be too hard. I think it's pretty straightforward. It's just like I just got to weave through a couple trees or chop them down. And then I just have to go over this water. I'm actually going to start placing dirt as I go there until I run out. And then I'll have to come up with another solution. Sand's not going to work since sand is affected by gravity. I'm going to destroy like all my water doing this. I'm going to have to... uh. Because once I delete it, the water is going to like try to pour into the spot where the block was. And I'm going to screw myself over. Eh. Oh, lily pad, don't be that guy. You're blocking the uh, the great journey, as I like to call it. I think that's why I'm going to have to name this episode The Great Journey. Which, speaking of journey, journey to the Ender Dragon, I'm having a lot of fun with that series. It's going to be a shame when that ended. But I, have a, I kind of have an idea for another series, which this series could go both ways. So, on Minecraft on PC, the PC version, of course... You have the selection of game modes, which is like survival, creative mode, and then there's hardcore mode. And the premise behind hardcore mode is you get one life. So I'm playing survival with one life. If I die, that's game over. It doesn't let me respawn. It doesn't let me do anything. It just makes me exit to the main menu. Everything I ever build in that world, I lose. So I kind of want your guys' opinion. Do you guys think that would be a, a fun thing to watch? Granted, the series, uh, I could end up dying by the third episode, and then I'm kind of boned on what to do but i don't know i think it could be fun because i would have to be extra careful i'd be taking a lot of precautions i would probably do everything on camera because i wouldn't want to i wouldn't want to play off camera and potentially die and then not have that recorded so you know i think that'd be cool so leave a suggestion or not a suggestion leave a comment if you think uh what's it called if you think hardcore mode would be cool because i could do that after the ender dragon series i don't want to jump into it now because i already have a couple series but you know once the ender dragon series ends like, I, I consider doing another Let's Play, and if you guys want something to be Minecraft related, that's something I have in mind that I could do. So, you know, leave a comment. What do you think of it? Alright, see, this is the this is the real problem here, is I don't have a lot of dirt. But the beauty of it is, is that this area, dirt is like the most common thing you find in Minecraft. So, I'm going to steal all of this if I want, and I'm not really affecting the land that much. That's the beauty of swamp biomes. They're pretty, pretty flat, or pretty, you know... Well, actually, that's the, that's pretty much what they are. They're pretty flat. So, I don't really have to worry about ruining the whole terrain. So, I can just kind of cut away from one area and get a bunch of dirt. I love this shovel. It's like being in creative mode, which I am not in right now. So, don't make any assumptions. Alright, so I got two stacks. That should be enough because the village is right there. It's not too far of a journey. So, hopefully... I didn't bring a minecart, so I can't actually start getting the villagers yet. But I can at least definitely get this track set up. And uh, hopefully by next episode I can start transporting them. I'll do the, uh, I'll finish the graveyard off camera for whatever I have to do. And then I can actually probably start next episode by transporting some villagers. I don't really have a lot of places for them to go. Except for like, I guess like in the library. Library and the bar. I just gotta make sure everything in Woodbury is safe because I don't want them to die. I can't breed them villagers yet so I'm kind of limited on how many I have. Probably like a total of 20 of them in my world. I gotta bring them all to Woodbury, keep them safe. Okay, I'm hoping I'm almost there. I have one more stack left, so I should be fine. Switch to the next stack, and yeah, I'm practically there, so... I can actually... I'm going to assess the area, see how many villagers are there, so that way I know how many minecarts I'll need. And then I can actually place the uh, tracks on my way back to the house. It should be nice. Which, I may not have enough tracks either, but I got plenty of iron. I got like two stacks, which I'm going to need to go caving soon after this. Because I still got that Q&A to do. I haven't done that Q&A yet, so I apologize for you guys. But, like I said, busy man. I gotta get organized with a, a good video schedule to do. Which I was doing a pretty good schedule. I was doing Let's Plays on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then I was doing the Journey to the Ender Dragon on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I was going to do Things to Build on Saturday and Sunday. And I was doing that schedule pretty spot on until yesterday when I got sick. And then I wanted to make up for it and post a Let's Play today instead of a... Uh, Journey to the Ender Dragon episode two days in a row. So hopefully next week I can actually maintain that schedule and just kind of stick with that because, you know, I think that's something that really helps with doing stuff on YouTube is a schedule. So hopefully I can maintain that. All right, so we have one villager here. We've got one over here, two. So that's three total right now. How many more of you guys? Jeez, these guys can't get in their houses, I don't think. It's always outside, which I hope, like, a bunch of them didn't die. Alright, four, you're in there. You got a buddy in there at all? I think this is the village I lived in, too. Oh, five, six. Okay, six guys so far. That one's in here. 
That one's in here. And so what, we got six so far? I think this is my house right here. Oh, no, it's not. Ah, it's somewhere around here. Seven, eight? Holy crap, I got a lot of villagers in here. Alright, my house is over here. I recognize the very crappy wall. Oh, the nostalgic feeling. And hardly any wheat left. Oh my god, the sheep. You guys are still here? Jeez. Talk about not despawning. Awesome. Anything good here? Not really. Stack of cobble. Some dirt. Nothing really good. Alright, so... There could be a couple more villagers, but right now we got at least eight total counted. So I'll just bring a couple minecarts. If I if I can't get them all in one trip, then oh well, I can definitely take another trip back. Now I can actually start placing some rails on the journey back. So I will start right here at the dirt, and then we shall mosey on. Can I place them as I run? Yes, I can. Oh, this is going to be quite the. Uh, Quite the process if I try to move quickly. All right, we're gonna try to sprint in place. Hoo! Okay, that didn't work at all. Actually, this works way better. I'm not gonna run into anything unless it's like an animal, and I just need to make sure I don't mess anything up. But this should go good. I actually, add a little life to Woodbear instead of just seeing random animals in there. We'll actually have some villagers, and wow, a stack went away relatively quick. We're definitely gonna need some more. Uh, gonna need more tracks. But I got plenty of coal for the whole furnace thing, and this keeps messing up. Oh my god. So annoying at times, but oh well. I just think it's because I'm moving pretty quick, if I move slower. But yeah, this should be good. Add some life to Woodbury, and then I can actually add other things around there. But I like it so far. It's very, it's very cool that you're actually able to do this. That I'm actually able to transport or transport the villagers. Someone said just put it on creative and spawn them in, but like this is what makes survival a lot more fun. Is instead of just being able to be like, yeah, I can make a, a whole town in like a couple hours in creative and then just spawn villagers in it. You know, I just you know I I've gathered all the supplies. I have to go through the process of using minecarts just to transport villagers. I don't know. It's it's quite satisfying once you know you kind of accomplish it all. And this is my first time actually trying to move villagers via minecart so I think it's cool had a lot of fun with it but it's actually getting dark I need to be careful I'm actually almost home though I'll, I'll finish the rest of the stack and then I'm gonna sprint home and I think I'll end the episode there I think that will be uh, I think it's a pretty good episode I think I'm, I'm happy I got some good stuff done finished up the graveyard which was just a fun little build to do that it took no more than one episode and then I can actually start moving some villagers to provide some life in Woodbury and we have met our match. Stupid tree got in the way. Alright, get rid of these. The only bad thing is when it comes to transporting villagers, we gotta be precise. There can be no creepers, no nothing in the way. We gotta make sure we do it in the day. Ooh, ooh that rhymed. Oh man, I'm a poet. Alright, so we're on the tracks, and now we're headed home. We gotta get home. I'll we'll have to light, or light the way around here, make sure nothing spawns. Because I don't know if they, I don't think they can spawn on the tracks when there's actually tracks placed. But, gotta be sure. Gotta start placing some torches around here. Make sure there's no mobs that are gonna harm, harm the people of Woodbury. All the people. I'm the governor. And I like it. Alright, well, oh, door. Door, no. By the way, someone said, hey, you should place a pressure plate. I cannot do that because mobs will get in to Woodbury. It's gotta be safe. It's gotta be a. I gotta be a little bit of a stronghold here. But you guys, that is gonna be it for this episode. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I did. And also, again, I apologize for not uploading as frequently. I was sick. I have a legitimate reason. And I'm sorry. And uh, do leave a comment on what you guys think of the, the hardcore sort of game type or series idea. Because I think I'd have a lot of fun with it. It would definitely be something to very, be very cautious with. But I think I'd have fun with it. But, you know, yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. And, you know... See ya.